Hi, yeah. So you, you very kindly joined me, joined me today just to talk a little bit about the gardening packs that we were using across um, the lockdown period earlier this year. Um, so it's something the live team put together to try and support people who are out in the community. Could you tell me a little bit about what the benefits were for your patients and carers? Yeah, um, well, I work for Working Age Dementia, a team, and the post-diagnostic area, and I'm the peer support lead. And we were finding um, whenever we chatted with our patients or the carers, they were struggling with finding more activities to do um, and to motivate themselves. So when we spoke to yourselves and we found out this exciting new project, um, we clocked onto the idea. So we got the packs, took them out to the families and the feedback that we got was an absolute phenomenal. Um, they engaged really well as the instructions were laid out, the equipment, everything was there for them. Didn't have to go out and buy anything else. It was all there in one pack. Um, and they were motivated. They could see how things were growing. They were going out every day to attend to them. And it actually gave them time away from the carers as well. Um, they were taking photographs for uh, what they were producing. And it actually engaged them then to move on to something else. Um, because they was wanting to do something else after that. So some of them actually were going to garden centres to actually buy different things to do things in the garden uh, or even some just go for walks and also then some were actually engaged in the peer support hubs afterwards because they'd find out other activities to do, um, the tabletop activities and it was meeting other people and then discussing it afterwards what they'd been doing. Um, so it was absolutely fantastic, it lifted their mood, um, their benefits were just absolutely amazing. It was great results and something that they want to do again. Oh lovely, I know that's what we're talking about isn't it, that actually yeah. it was so positive and, and it was so nice that you embraced it so completely and when, and when it's really provided and done properly and followed up, it's got real potential to really connect people with their own yeah. spaces. Definitely, because we yeah. found that some patients, their communication skills had been reduced due to lockdown because not meeting other people. And obviously just, you know, their loved one just being there, that reduce in communication, no subject to talk about. Um, but then obviously working with this pack, coming in and going, oh, look what I've gone and done today, actually gave them a subject to talk about and excited them. Um, and especially with the end result, um, and it just, yeah, it really boosted their confidence, gave them hope of what they actually can achieve themselves. It upskilled them instead of de-skilled them. So I just want to say thank you on their behalf. Uh, and it's something that they want to look to do again. I get emotional. Um, and it's really exciting times. And yes, again, like we've spoken, we want to do something together um, as a service. Oh, lovely. Thank you ever so much. You're more than welcome. It's very exciting times. Thank you.